What's up guys, it's Traveling Man from Dedicated MC, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom jar file onto your Minecraft server. Now this will give you a lot of different options for management and plugins and whatever things uh, come with whatever jar file you are installing. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is come to your server panel, make sure you're selected in the Minecraft server that you want to install it on, and go ahead and go to file management. Now you're going to want to look for the server.jar file, and it's really as simple as going ahead and deleting that. You don't have to really mess with anything else unless you're going to get super specific with it. And just go ahead and find that new jar file that you're going to upload. Currently, I'm going to upload the paper dot, uh, sorry, paper-131 jar file. And uh, that's the latest version for 1.16.1. And once that goes ahead and finishes uploading down here, you want to refresh, make sure it's in there. So you see paper-131. And you're going to want to go ahead and just copy this name right here, the name of whatever jar file you're using. Come down to startup parameters over here on the side and right here where it asks for the server jar file, go ahead and just control V or copy and paste that name in there of the jar file. Go ahead and click update startup parameters in the corner and then your server next time you launch it will launch off of that jar file. So to start up your server and get that jar file working, just come back to your console and go ahead and press start and then the server will pick up the new paper file based on what you put in the uh, parameters, or not just paper file, whatever jar file you put in there. Um, obviously could be different for you, but then it will launch off of that jar file and you are good to go. Simple as that. 